Hi, and welcome to the feature overview for the beta release of new code editor plugin for Unreal Engine. This plugin adds simple code editing functionality inside the UE. It features a dockable interface that can be placed anywhere in the UE editor and allows you to use your Claude or ChatGPT API keys to quickly analyze and modify the code behind selected nodes. The plugin is currently available as an early preview for our Patreon supporters and feedback is very welcome. First off, the code editor allows you to quickly access the implementation and definition behind the selected node. It can be docked anywhere within UE and allows you to make quick changes to the node and build them on the spot. The code editor allows you to see source code behind engine nodes. You can then use your Claude or ChatGPT AI API to ask for explanation on how the code behind the selected node works. This is particularly useful when you're working with complex built-in functions and want to understand their implementation details. Instead of digging through documentation or guessing how something works, you can get direct explanations about the code you're looking at. Next, we'll see how we can leverage AI to generate Blueprint callable nodes on the spot. We start by switching to the declaration view of the current node and leaving isolated mode to see the entire header file context. From here, we can press Ctrl plus space to open the AI query window and write a query to generate a Blueprint callable function that we can use as a Blueprint node. Before generating, we can choose exactly what context to provide for generation, whether that's current line or number of lines above the cursor. We can also specify whether the AI should just complete the current line or generate a larger block of code. Press Ctrl plus space again to execute the query and let the AI generate the declaration. Next, we use the Generate Definition feature to automatically create the corresponding definition in the implementation file. We can then use AI again to write the actual function implementation. Once again, we have the full control over the context and generation scope. After building directly in the editor, our new custom function, in this case getCustomString, is immediately available as a node in the Blueprint editor. If you find this kind of plugin interesting, let me know with a like and a subscribe. It's the best way to let me know if I should keep working on stuff like this. And for more plugins, tutorials and exclusive resources, you can also check out my Patreon through the link in the description below. To get the most out of the tokens used by the API, you can decide exactly what context the AI should consider for your query. Inside the AI chat window, you'll see two options. Visible code, which takes all of the code that's currently visible in your editor, or user selection, which uses only the code you've manually selected before opening the chat. This way, you stay in control of what information the AI has access to, while keeping token usage efficient. For inline AI completions, you can also customize the context separately for implementation and declaration. In the implementation, there are three options. Entire function around the cursor sends the whole function for context. Function up to the cursor takes only the code from the start of the function to your cursor position. This is especially useful for big functions, since it avoids sending everything after the cursor. And number of lines above the cursor, which includes only a fixed number of lines regardless of the function beginning. For declarations, you can choose between two context modes. Current line only, the AI uses just the line where the cursor is, or number of lines above the current line, where AI again takes a number of lines above cursor for context. And finally, for both implementation and declaration, you can decide how the AI should generate the result. Complete the current line, the AI finishes just the line you're working on, or complete the block where AI generates a larger block of code instead of a single line. The editor also includes other commonly used features, like search, go to line, and the ability to open currently edited file in the file explorer. There is also a basic text completion system that uses the dictionary of common Unreal Engine keywords. You can expand this dictionary by editing files in plugin configuration folder. However, it's worth noting that this editor is not meant to fully replace your IDE. 
for any advanced code editing or complex changes, you'll still want to switch to Visual Studio or Rider. To use the AI functionality, you'll need to set up your own API key. The editor supports both Claude and ChatGPT APIs, so you can get your key from either Anthropic or OpenAI, depending on your preference. In the settings, you can configure which model you want to use by default, and set the default behavior for inline AI completions. The settings also include standard text editor options, like font size, theme preferences, and key bindings. This plugin is still in experimental phase, so you should expect to encounter some bugs and rough edges. If you run into any issues or have feedback, please report them on our Discord channel or on the comments below. Until the next one, thanks for watching.